Hello, my name is Amin Azam. I'm, I'm on faculty at two campuses of the University of California. Today I'm going to be defining for you what problem-based learning is. This video is one of a series of six videos related to problem-based learning, and this one is, of course, the first one in the series of six. To formally define what PBL is, I'm going to show you a series of slides in which on the left side you're going to see uh, what the formal definitional element is, each of those six key elements. And on the right, I want to clarify just my, beyond the exact literature definition, my help helpful hint or understanding about how this specific thing is related to PBL specifically. So for example, the first thing that defines PBL is that students should be organized into small groups with a tutor and this is in contrast to large lecture based groups. Second key point is that learning must be student centered and this is in contrast to instructor centered teaching. So the focus here is more on what learn learners learn rather than what teachers teach. The third key point is that in PBL the tutor must act as a facilitator or a guide. This is in a contrast to uh, faculty members who are oftentimes seen as knowledge or content experts. Fourth, problems based in the practical world must be presented at the beginning of the learning process. This is in contrast to what's done traditionally in most educational systems in which there's a front loading of any kind of curricular module with what one would call the basic foundations and you must learn all of that first before you encounter the real world problems. The fifth key element that makes PBL what it is is that the problems themselves serve as a tool for the acquisition of both knowledge and general problem solving skills. This is as opposed to merely learning the correct answer to this specific problem only. The last key element is that content knowledge should be acquired via self-directed learning. By this I'm referring to the difference between what I'll call educator-directed components of a syllabus uh, or excuse me of a curriculum. So for example a syllabus is an educator-directed component of a curriculum because the teacher is defining what should be in the syllabus and what should be learned. And that's it. Those are the six key core elements that make problem-based learning what it is. This slide is to remind you of those six elements all in one slide and to show you the originator of the problem-based learning approach to medical education, Howard Barrows. I'll remind you that this is one of six series of videos related to problem-based learning. And if you liked it, watch the other five.